Not so long ago, we got ourselves a brand new creature in Subnautica below zero, the Shadow Leviathan, and would you look at that? <laughs> the Vent Garden, the biggest Leviathan of them all, is in the game. And apparently I'm freezing to death, because this was also implemented, and I should just, I don't know, dive into the water? I don't know how, look, look at me, I'm freezing! This is how Subnautica Below Zero evolved, guys. I'm just gonna jump inside the water. It should be... Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Boom! Look at the screen! Look at the screen! It's... Uh, yep. This is logical, because, you see, since water is not freezing, right? It's, that means it's not, like, you know, below zero. And outside... It is, it's really cold. If you want to get yourself warmer, go inside the water. Even though that sounds crazy, but yeah, just, it's logic. Anyway, guys, so let's get back on the topic of Vent Gardens. Normally, at this point, I would start spawning him in and just trying to look around. But no, I'm not going to do it because it's impossible to do so because it's already in the game. I just started a brand new creative game and uh, it's already here. How to access it? We need to go to Biome. Wait, let me, you know what, let me bring the hood back so that you could actually see what I'm typing. So let's go to biome, tree spires. Hoping I'm typing that correctly. And yep, we're here. Basically... Oh... I present you. This is the Vent Garden. A brand new creature. I know, that's interesting, right? But this is it. This is this is a new Leviathan, and it is huge. This is by far the biggest thing right now in Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I'm pretty sure you are already saying that. Hey, it's not that big. <laughs> oh yeah, look, I'm, we're just gonna play with him. And first of all, can we put the day? Well, since I'm putting the day back on, it doesn't give us a good results. Whenever I go closer, it should change colors. Yep, yep, yep. So since it's not finished, oh yeah, nice. It's not entirely finished, but uh, so that's why he's glitching out. But don't worry, guys. This is a, this is so cool. What is that? Is that a mouth? Let's go inside. Can oh yeah, I can go inside. And wait a second. This oh he's tra he's fully transparent. No way. No way. What is that, dude? Basically, what is a vent garden? It's already clear uh, the first word, vent. It's supposed to attach itself to the vents. Wait a second. Oh, I thought those those are eyes. Look at that. Dude! No way. It looks like he has eyes at, in this angle. Well, basically the same as, as with this angle, but I don't think... Wait a second. Yeah, those, not, those are not eyes. That cannot, cannot be true. Can it? I don't know. That, that would be cool. He can have like what? How? One, two, three, four, five, six eyes? <laughs> nice. That would be so cool. By the way, we Time can. Time to get serious. Yeah, we can do this. I just removed the fog so that we can actually clearly understand how huge this thing is. Now, don't worry, we're gonna make a size comparison. Even though it's so sad that I won't be able to do it with the Vesper Station because I cannot spawn the Vent Garden to the Vesper Station or the other way around. But, well, we're gonna have to spawn something else. For example, the Shadow Leviathan, the Chelicerate. But now, guys, um, you know what? Let's first do one thing. Let's bring back the fog because it looks scarier. A lot scarier whenever we are in like this. <laughs> I just want to... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting part. And uh, But you know what? I'm just gonna try and out of here and see... Hey, what is happening? I'm so slow. Wait a second, I can hear myself breathing? This is interesting. Wait a second. Is she cold? Yeah. This is new. Guys, this is... This is something new. If you didn't know, so this sound animation of Robin breathing, this was implemented, I'm guessing, not so long ago, because whenever you go in a free cam mode, just listen. Oh no, I don't like that sound. But anyway, uh, you know, we are in a creative mode. That means that the god mode is on and we cannot die. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot do anything and she's just panting like crazy. I'm guessing she doesn't like being in a really deep uh, waters. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, maybe she's just cold. But anyway, guys, let's get on with the vent garden. Let's see the how big he is. And 
yeah, this is me, this is me, and look how far I can get away, and he's, oh, wow, oh, wow, this is something crazy, I don't even need to spawn him like two times bigger, he is already huge, no way, that is a Venn garden, guys, that is a living creature, that's 100% be that he's not gonna be aggressive, right, because what, he can attach his t huge tentacle, <laughs> around your neck well he just cr he would just crush me oh wait a second are those eyes like done well let's just call them eyes because what else are they what pimples <laughs> i don't know uh, anyway uh let's do one more thing a rare very important thing can i actually get myself a scanner and scan this thing all right let's bring back the hood by the way the, i am so immersed right now in this game I don't know what's happening. By the way, guys, before we go in even further, uh, this is the best chance right now to buy Subnautica Below Zero uh, on the Epic Store because it has like a huge discount. If you don't have it, go and do that. You can also use my referral code. I'm gonna leave it in the video description. If you can, that would be amazing. And uh, anyway, I cannot scan the Vent Garden. This is sad. Huh, yeah, it's... Wait a second, these are eyes. No way. What is happening here? You know, let's just try and go inside him from this point. What's gonna happen? I need a flashlight. Flashlight. Let's see. Oh, wow. It is so dark in here. And it smells terrible because I believe... It looks like it's a, it's a mouth of Vanguard. I don't know. Anyway, let's just go around it. Wow. And she started stopped panting. What is going on? By the way, this thing is not attached to the main body. You see, it's like floating in midair. I'm guessing it's still gonna be attached. Yeah, this, this is so cool looking. Anyway, let's do one thing. So I'm gonna spawn myself, spawn sea truck. Because whenever you spawn a sea truck, it can give you a really good array of flat, well, light, look. And I'm, I wanna see how it looks, for example, from here. Boom. Let's hide everything and it's, let's make it every night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine, you're just... Casually floating in your sea truck, looking for items, and you come to this. Oh wow, that's one great shot. And you understand that this is a Vanguard. Well, if you know the lore of Subnautica Below Zero, and you know that this is a living creature. If you don't, then I'm guessing you're just gonna scan it, and you're gonna read the data bank entry, and you're gonna understand that... Oh boy, I just encountered the biggest leviathan in the game. Shadow leviathan? No, 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 no. Ice worm? No, 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 they're small. Anyway, you know what? Let's spawn something in. Chelicerate. Spawn to five. Oh yeah, that's shadow leviathan. Of course, spawn. Oh yeah. Uh, so I accidentally spawned myself uh, <laughs> a snow stalker. And would you look at that? The chelicerate and the shadow leviathan. They're both here. No, wow, this is so... I love this game, but I hate to be here alone. Look at the vet. Look at the Shadow Leviathan. Is he... What is he doing? And they're fighting. The Chelicerate and the Shadow Leviathan are fighting. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Guys, stop. Just gaze at this thing, at this creature. At the Vanguard. I'm guessing they don't give a damn about that creature. But look at that. So this was... I, guys, the Shadow Leviathan was the biggest creature at this point and yeah just compare the sizes this is crazy yeah this is something that i really enjoy in subnautica like something huge something big and we finally got it the vanguard so you know what else i can do i cannot do basically i cannot interact anyhow with this thing i think it's safe to end the episode right here uh, we can still just explore some of the thing wait yeah it looks like light bulbs inside him but uh, anyway nothing to do with him at this point i checked live check-ins for subnautica below zero and there are a lot of entries about the vanguard and we just need to wait a little bit because i'm guessing he's gonna start moving because look he's just frozen in place there's supposed to be some vents that he's feeding off uh, we're gonna again wait for them a little bit longer you see this thing i believe it it gathers heat or something and this is how he feeds and sustains himself but anyway I, again we need to wait for him to be movable for him to have more well basically capabilities and i don't know how long but whenever we get something about this creature i'm gonna show it to you 
and this is it guys hope you did enjoy the vent garden if you did that's amazing leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and as always i'm gonna see you all tomorrow in the next episode bye bye